Hello, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Wait, no, that's not right here. Me Merry Big Bad Gamaton. And this is Pokitsune here, the with a home alone to last in New York on the Sega Genesis. Now, this is going to be a bit of a trip in this one here. This is my first time submitting to Gamaton. I've dealt with some bad games since I'm a Kuzumani GM. And uh, this is what I gave out personally here, but I speedrun myself. I mean, it was my first time speedrunning any kind of game. Whenever I gave out this game here, people tend to hate it. I don't know why, I don't get it. Okay, no, maybe I do get it. The, the game is kind of merciful sometimes and uh, a little random. And there's some rude points in there that made people throw it into the controls of the garbage. I can't help it. And this is why I gave it up to the grindy and the uh, chat is the little thing. Yeah, this will be a fun little time. Not too long of a game. And it is different from the Super Nintendo version. Both of them are very, very different. Even if they're based on the same movie. Oh boy. And unfortunately, there's a major lack of Tim Curry, which uh, some people may see that as a problem. But I'm about to go. Just like this. Yeah. I mean. First we start up at the airport. First part people might be surprised when we play this blind here. But those guys with suitcases, yes you can take them out, you can attack them. But they will toss their suitcases right on your face. They, this will hurt, this will be a pain, so it's best to power slide between their legs. Classic heavy move, right? Now guy with the balloon, take him out, grab his balloons. We're gonna be grabbing a funeral item that it might seem a little slower on, on playthrough here. Might not be the, the less risky move, but I'd rather grab the weapon. Step on a puddle, make a puddle, kill a cop. They, they seem to be allergic to water, I don't know why. Call up the elevator for the exit. Take out a cop with a bazooka. Take out the wet bandit with a bazooka full of ice cream. And then uh, move on to the next stage. Now, remember this part in the movie here where Kevin got lost into the luggage area? They are locked in all the suitcases and all the thing. Yeah, no, uh, this is here. This is where you find that lost scene. Everybody knows this. This is pretty famous, after all. From here. Yeah, wind bandits over there, trying to catch us. We're just trying to go for the elevator. Ah. This is my lift. Yeah. Getting pushed around. Like his big brother. Going on for the career belts. Sliding out of here. Something a little safer here. I'm trying to make a, a good successful attempt. Right. Moving on to stage three. The streets of New York. Yeah, uh, if you want to, to know that everything wants to take down Kevin, um, yeah, every single cat in this neighborhood here all want to chew his face off. That's it. Uh, it's a trampoline here. Yeah. You have to grab that train. You have no choice. There is no going around this. We'll recover. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now, every single cat. Literally, this is not going well. Makes you wonder why I go with a fat with me. It's gonna be fun. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna probably gonna do a second run. Oh, that's all this is. It's not looking great. All right, past this little section now. Usually we stick to the top because there are sections that will simply not allow you to progress at all. So yeah, I'll try to avoid that. Four men with suitcases here. Hi there, hi bandits, hi Marv, goodbye Marv. Off to the toy what the toy store. We have ye old toy warfare. This is if you're going blind in this thing, this is uh, this is prominent stage. Also where you'll find a ye big sun. Which we possibly might demonstrate at this point. I have to wait here for this rain thing, because uh, I have no choice. Pretty good strength though. Yeah, this light, yeah, you can't do anything about it. You can't jump, you need to wait for that to go. Also, um, yeah, this, um, you need to land on that specific block 
Otherwise, you're just gonna be looping over and over again. If you take a match of Grandi, uh, our players went up and down through that about 40 times before somebody well, before they actually got past the stage. If they got past the stage, this thing will keep on following you all the time. I don't like taking it down like this, but it, it, it was gonna be in my way. Right. Quick detour, again, a bit more safety on this. Because I know some of the randomness on this thing. Alright. A dozen clowns in a box. Going down the trampolines. Keeping a little lower there. And the damage. Grabbing the pie. Oh! Down! Clearly. Alright. Now we have a pie launcher. And those, those improvised weapons are really great to take another wet bandits. And uh, unfortunately, the wet bandits have multiple different types of animations, which uh, will change on how well they're stunned. And uh, for safety purposes, I want to take them down before the uh, before I actually do the actual jump needed here. All right. I especially want to take down Marv since he has a big. Um, uh, uh, yeah, this is the end of the stage. Oi. Moving on to the next New York Street. Now we want this little thing here to go up. Oh, and say hi to uh, New York Ninjas. What they're thing, I don't know. But clearly, New York needs more ninjas. Hey, right? Alright, we want to stick to the roof. Because there are some snow hills that you cannot climb under. Eh. Where's my ring? This is Sega! Come on, Sonic! Give us a ring! Grab down here for the next ring. And this ring, I believe, is technically optional. I may have to check on things. Yeah, I think it is not optional. We just died here. Whoops! Yeah, th this is what you want to grab. Also, this thing will not go as long as you're standing on it, so... Uh, a little bit of movement, getting back on top. There we go. Yeah, well, welcome to the New York, New York Night. Alright. Cat, get out of my way. Man. That's odd speed. Usually, it does keep your momentum usually when this happens. But for some reason, this just. I'm trying to not go as fast as this. Me. Oh, for ice physics. How do you love them? Here, Christmas. Gotta have ice physics. Right, and now we're off to the deadliest mansion in the world. Uh, the trapped house. Here you don't have any kind of improvised weapons, you just... You know, the whole house is technically a weapon. Swing a brick up here to trigger a trap early to take down one of the wet bandits early. So don't have to take quite that bit. Take down those little things, take him down to another floor. Right, now they're gonna show the, the wet bandits through their incredible feats of athleticism. Jumping up through floors like that. They, they, these guys are superhuman. If they weren't villains, if they weren't bandits, they'd be superheroes. Now this little thing is gonna be exactly on the water, otherwise you ain't getting nothing. Jump over here. Pick out the barrels here to see if they come up there. Nope. Grab the chandelier. Moving on. Get to the top. Hey, a lot of objects here are just traps that you can trigger to uh, take down the wet bandits. Hey, pick the life, thank you very much. Get off the barrel. Grab the rope. Get, get caught by Marv! No! 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 Get down into the tube! You remember this part in the movie? Where Kevin had to go through multiple tubes through bubbles, giant frogs, and giant bugs? Yeah, that sounds about right. Perfectly normal. And this part was a little bit RNG because uh, you gotta find a way up, and those bubbles are your only way to do this. You gotta find a good bubble to come on up. So you might have to wait for the RNG to kick in and uh, drop you there. If any of those bubbles are filled with bugs, the bugs will pop them out, and uh, I'll be able to go and use it anymore. Uh, oh, yeah, Jeff. Kevin also has a giant fly swatter for some reason. The odds of those bubbles allowing you to go up are pretty random also. 
So this is why I'm going to the end rather than trying to do shortcuts, because, uh, yeah. If you're gonna be doing a natural run on this, I don't believe I'm gonna have to see this here, but uh, protect your bubble. Protect your bubble. Yes, getting to the top. This is a maze level, there is no getting around it. Welcome to the Iron Ritu, all the way to the bottom in order to get back up. Thank you for the big bubble right away, Frago. Say hi to Slippy for me. Coming up, coming up. There we go. Alright. Moving on. One, two, three. This is the right fight to go. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Ow. And now we are off to the park. And this is the end of our level. Welcome to Ice Music Calling Around. Welcome to the invasion of the New York Ninjas. Ah. They're everywhere, I see. Yeah. I... Uh, yeah, uh, of course they made a pact with the, with the wet bandits. I don't know what you're talking about here. Ninjas? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're a real thing. They're very urban. They won't fit against snow. Must be an offshoot of Canada. And they need ninjas from the hidden Maple Leaf Village. They went off to the final part in this tree here where... Uh, how are you supposed to go up? Uh, well, you guess which branches are actually solid and which one will drop you down all the way to the bottom. Right to the winning armor trance. And end! Alright. That's a... Nice little run. Super little go. Ten minutes after having to restart part of the level. Yeah, I'll take it. Like, lose me a few lives. Eh. Yeah. Mom, I knew you'd find me by the giant tree. This is pigeon lady. Let's go home. And... Bye! <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is... Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Say hi to the trees. Enjoy the movie. Yeah, yeah pretty fun. That's pretty sure I'm gonna do a second run. Get the fans of it, at least. Let's just reset some little thing. Alright. There we go. The one here. And here we go again. Whoops. Try to hide a countdown. Don't have too much of a hurry. Back sliding under those legs. I mean, the payoff for this story, game is that I gave this a list a long while ago for their. Uh, like every single Sega Genesis games in the history, and uh, he, she she was not happy. But when she gave that, and uh, I didn't know this game exactly how this game was. I think it was I remember seeing it in Who's uh, Running once, and was kind of curious. And I thought, but well, I like the, the improvised initial weapon on that. Yeah, I'm curious what those do and uh, what happens with them. And I said, yeah, I'll go for it. Miss the water there. Not a big deal, folks. We can always take them out. Hey, have your ice cream! Alright, back to luggage! Luggage, luggage, luggage. Alright. Yeah, the one little trap on this game when you're playing through here, the, the whole section to the to the right side, the trap is meant for uh, some extra weapons that you don't really need in this case. The stage is so short that you don't tend to need them. Plus a little bit of time lies there too. Not the optimal location to drop out from, but I think that's how it goes. You do not want to go to the bottom either. Bye, Marv. Bye, Marv. Goodbye, Marv. Back to the street. There goes Magic Cats. Hope you don't get the last mistake last time that train was a bit of a problem. <laughs> right. Off. Get the top of the rooftop. Here, grab the ring. Good speed. There we go. Let's run this side. E high. Well, the slide did not thank me this time. Oops. 
Eh. Eject. In some cases, you want to stay by the top, but right now, the only thing that will really slow me down are these guys. Bye, Marv. Bye, Marv. Back to the toy store we go. One next little thing I will also mention, just for the details, you see the pictures of the two wet bandits at the bottom. Um, they do have actual house bars. Every single stage is there, well, whatever they are in. But you can't actually take them out. It just takes a bit of time, so not really fast. Me, most of us are me here. All right, Turn around, Turn around. Oh, might have. Ooh, almost missed that. Ah! That's my big suck. Oh, my ring. And now you know what's the problem with this stage. And why it's pretty much hated with uh, just about everybody who has it with There, come on down. Whoops! That's... Too big suck! <laughs> really, you're losing a lot of time just for this. And sometimes that's okay. Alright, um, back to here. Got a lift in a little too soon, so we're just gonna climb on here, climb on here, dodge the plane. Yeah, the, the game's a little random at times, so this will put planes at the worst possible places. The attack is so slow that you might just miss him every single time. This part here also has a chance of knocking you down multiple times. Kevin also has some mighty knife back. Yeah. The ring will also get in the way. Grabbing the part of open here. Whoops. From there. That's not good. Alright, alright, back up you go. This is where you take those out first. Things happen. Things go. You just keep on going. Keep on trucking. Never been in your dreams. Never let go. That's a spanner that works. Alright, missing the cream pie for the weapon. We'll be grabbing that on the way over. One trampoline. Okay, that's fine. Full pizza just in case. The old cheese pizza. Alright. Yeah, like I said, it's random on what animation they're gonna drop into and uh. They, don't, they took out my weapon. Yeah, um, yeah, I've collected the weapon here, but if they grab you at any moment, that weapon is gone. Goodbye. Marco has a high jump, but uh, not so for Harry. Hence why we get a better chance of getting there. There we go. Off to the night street again. Come on now. I'll admit I'm not perfect. Not that great, but I hope I'm entertaining enough to make a good show. Right. I missed my ring, didn't I? Well, I guess you're walking the way part of the way. Yeah. Missed ring number two, too! Oh! God. Play it. That's what we've gone through. We got through the, the, the pedals now. I'm back for the house trap. Trying to avoid some damage. Once more, grab Henry with a brick. And that's a problem. Sometimes just keep on rolling. Keep on going. What I'm trying here, if you're not going fast, if you're just doing a casual playthrough here, it's not a bad idea to send them off to the basement and uh, take them out first. Because yet they will harass you the whole way through. I think I may have already taken a Harry, go figure. Yeah, that is also kind of random in this thing. Go figure. 
be and I'm just lifting the wire from the line. This part got it right, yay! Hi Marv, bye Marv. <laughs> Alright. Up we go, and up we will go. Woo! Hi Marv! Hi Marv! Yeah. Like I said, these guys are superhuman. Look at the movie when Marv gets electrocuted by the, the heck here. I mean, that, that shows up what he's capable of. And back to the pipes. Movements. Those books, random as heck. Pick your meal, take the monitor in Albuquerque, or not. And that was a nice fit. That had a bug in it. Or if it has bugs in it, it's bad. I guess this is why you go to the left to the left and try to get to see bubble that does not have bug in it. It's a weird stage in Home Alone. Flip back and forth, bring out some more bubbles. Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to Pipes. Welcome to the dream, Pipe Dream. Water. Down. Weapons. It's the first, the only melee weapon you actually get in the game right now. That's got the old fly water. You're able to use the bug spray at some point, but uh, never really found any good use at it. You don't really need that much range in the game. Honestly. Eh. Probably might get a more melee weapon all the way. Whoops! That's me going one step a little too far down. We need to go an extra life. Back to the night part. Alright. Fine. Fine. No, the ninjas. They, they can and will harm you, but the Got to try to deal with them. Okay. Back to the snow hills. The famous New York snow hills, you know, every winter. You have to find all the blue snow in the world. Safety water that I immediately lose to the ninjas because of course. Cheese pizza! Perfect perfect meal for for you, Kevin. Entering snow, no, but the ice doesn't matter. Yeah, Marv is uh, kind of superhuman. He's an idiot, but he makes up for everything else. And done. Ten minutes. All right. What was the last one I thought? Think about things from last time. Yeesh. Yeah, that's um, that's how it like this would go. So yeah, again, what's for? Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Crumbo. And don't bless everyone. And all those bad games. <laughs> yeah, I hope this is a good submission. Hope this will do. Hope you have a good time, man. Hopefully I'll see you then. Uh, also, I believe another player is also trying to do Home Alone 2 on the Super Nintendo. Hopefully they can do that together. One after the other. It's a pair. Bye-bye.